Here's the Skipperkey family, Father Zotka, Mother Zana, and the three puppies. This is their first day back from being whelped. The vet helped uh, her for her first litter, and there they are wiggling. You see they're healthy, and they're moving frantically. They're nursing like normal. They will spend 10% uh, of their time nursing and 90% of their time sleeping. And Zana will be with them constantly. And Father Zotka is still wondering. He says, oh, aren't they fine, little puppies? But he's still not sure of his position in the whole thing. But they look like funny toys. So let's play, let's play, let's play around. Not sure what he's supposed to do. But when he tries to approach, Zana says, Hey, watch it. Those are my puppies. She's protective of her new family. So Zatka is kind of relegated to the side. Here she is getting some rest after her efforts at delivering the three puppies sleeping, dreaming already at this age, and there Zana is arranging them, making sure that she's taking care of them and that they have access to nursing. One is sleeping, there you see the tongue making a big suction and nursing, and that's their first week, they're one week old here on Christmas Day. They were born on the 19th of December, and you see they're quite healthy and wriggling around and active. On the second week, you should start holding the puppies in different ways and still keep weighing them daily. As long as she's still very protective, the mother will still be protective, but she will spend a little more time away from them. There you see, a day 13 or something this week, the eyes should open. They're just very active. And you can handle them. Some people say be careful when you handle them because they can do a little business on you. But our puppies were very good. They only, whenever Zana stimulated them like this and licked on, licked near their genitals, then they would stimulate them to nurse and to urinate and defecate, but she cleaned everything up after them, so there was no little messes to clean up during the second week. There you see, it stimulates them to start to nurse. And she can take some time away from them. A little more time to herself and they sleep away. And ours were even climbing out of the box and going on the floor and laying down because we had temperatures of over 80 degrees ambient temperature. Otherwise you would try to keep them warm in a box if you were in the winter. There you can see them nursing. They have a big funny tongue when they're that age and they can latch on and start to suckle. And the mother, you should keep an eye on her mammary glands to make sure that she doesn't get any infection. There they can wriggle around in different positions, sleep on their back trying to crawl, but they cannot stand yet at this point. And they're trying to get uh, a little bit more independent. Week number three, you still weigh the puppies, but now once every two days, you start to give them a little more stimulation. And our puppies, they were still very good. When we stimulate them, they didn't pee on us. 
and you see how much larger they are than the week before when we weighed them. Now they fill up the whole little Tupperware container. Now they will start to try to stand, try to sit up and walk around. Mom is still attentive, but she gives them more time away from her. There you see the eyes are open. They can open on week two. But here on week three, the eyes are open and they even they start to look at you. And there you see she can sit, sit now by herself, stand up bring herself to a sitting position even scratch a little bit and they keep practicing their walking now they want to become independent and that's there they are taking their first wobbly steps whoop whoop so then we start to put them outdoors this is going to be their new home in this outdoor environment there she is, oh, crying, already vocalizing. And their ears have opened up and now they can hear. Mom is still wondering what's going on there. You see they start to look in our face and start to be more aware of their environment. But they still sleep and rest a lot. Okay, here, baby's getting very good, whoop, at walking, boing, they have a little wall to help them so they can stand up. Okay, also you can start grooming them on the third week, trim toenails, give them a bath, also start to give them specific stimulus, like here we are rinsing them and then we are toweling them off. You can pull on an ear or gently, gently paw, put their paws in different positions. There they are. Now you see starting to be more aware and more independent. But they will still sleep a lot. But also they will become more aware of their litter mates and start to play. And that's the end of week three. At the end of this week, they'll be one month old. Week number four. We're still weighing them every few days. You see they have a much bigger container now. They can walk around quite well themselves. They interact with each other much more and spend more active time awake. At the end of uh, week three they started to develop their teeth and now this week they continue to get their teeth in. They can start to bite and bark, wag their tails, they're very curious. Skipper keys are very, very curious. They always have to see what's going on. And you see, whoa, boof, exploring everywhere. Oh my gosh, where am I? But it, and they also learn to discriminate where to pee and poop. We put this little piece of astroturf on a tray. And uh, after that, they went on it all the time. They start to vocalize. Let people know that they're there. They can. Their ears are open now, so they can hear. They still nurse, but now they'll learn to eat small bits of mushy food. You can start to feed them mushy food. Zana will spend a lot much more time away from them. Now they start to try to establish dominance among the litter. Who's going to be the top dog? Here you see two beating up on the other. You start to give things like toys. 
give each one individual attention. Take each one, take one away from the litter mate, and start to give that one some attention away from the others. They can start to lap liquids now, so they have a water dish. Establishing some dominance. Baby is beating up Jimmy, the little guy. The poor Jimmy, he's forlorn. Oh my gosh. I'm all by myself. And that's the end of the four weeks.